Hi, this is Dean Robinson from DinaCraft.com. Here to show off my latest banjo. I've got a uh, oak and walnut lightweight model. Similar to one I've built before. It has a uh, turned flange. That The section is, uh, is quarter sawn oak. And then we have a turned tone ring in, also at the top and that's quarter sawn oak. The um, the bottom ring and the middle ring there are walnut and the neck is walnut. The, uh, the dowel sticks held on with a, uh, with a walnut, I'm sorry, with an ebony wedge. It kind of eliminates weight and it makes it a very nice light banjo but it still has a good amount of pop and some full volume. It's not very ornate. I've got pearl dots marking the uh, Marking the fret markers or as fret markers, and I've got side dots as well, pearl. And there's one star in the headstock. It's a Vega style star, engraved uh, like you'll see on some old Vegas or Fairbanks, and uh, five star tuners. And I've got uh, ebony um, face plate and um, really nice looking ebony um, fingerboard that's got some nice color in it showing through. It's not, it's not full black, but it's, it's very pretty. I've also got a handmade kind of custom uh, strap here that I've made. Alright, let's see how this banjo sounds. Uh, I've got it tuned to A modal and there's nothing in it. I personally, when I, when, I, when I play, I like a piece of foam in there just to kind of muffle sound a little bit in keeping with old time style, but uh, I want to show off the potential of the banjo. So this is the pot's naked, it's got nothing muffling. Let's try a tune called Bell's March. Okay, that's how it sounds. Check out more detailed pictures and information on my website, www.dinocraft.com. Thank you.